Hey guys, it's Rin here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my first impression of this by Terry VIP Expert Palette Bonjour Paris. Now this is a limited edition eyeshadow palette so I'm very, very happy to be able to get hold of one of these and uh, share with you what I think of it. Now it's definitely one of those brands that I absolutely love using. I have a couple of their products already such as the limited edition um, Cheek and um, cheek blush and uh, bronzer palettes. So just a little bit about the brand. Um, this is an award-winning French luxury beauty brand. If you haven't seen or heard of them before, you can find them in Phoenix, in Oxford Street, as well as um, any of the Space and K stores as well. Um, it is quite a niche brand. I personally find that you don't necessarily find them in all department stores, certainly not in London. And um, it's quite well known for its skincare infused makeup which I absolutely love. I use a couple of their products already such as their Hyaluronic Hydro Powder as well as um, one of their eyeshadow sticks which I absolutely love using for um, people who want quite a soft glam makeup such as like bridal. The brand in itself um, is quite well known for its practicality, um, it is quite luxurious and multi-purpose as well so this is why I absolutely enjoy them and I'm very excited to share with you um, this particular palette. This brand is also quite well known for their Lash Growth Mascara as well and their foundations for dry skin. So the founder herself is actually Terry de Gunsberg and she actually grew up in a family of scientists so quite a different type of upbringing. Uh, she even decided to go through the medicine path before changing to a more creative journey and uh, becoming a makeup artist herself. Um, she went to study makeup in the Carita Beauty School in Paris and uh, became a makeup artist across the runway and editorial world. One of her most pivotal moment was um, when she became an international makeup designer for YSL and she's actually the one who created the Touche Clap. It was only in 1998 when she decided to create her own brand as we know today, called By Terry and opened her first flagship store in Paris. So first of all, let's start off with the packaging. So it's encased in a rose gold outer packaging and um, it's got all the ingredients at the back with this beautiful um, scenery of um, Paris with the Eiffel Tower. It's in a rose gold and when you open it, like, once again, the painting is um, engraved onto the outer package at the back we've got the name Bonjour Paris. I just want to show you what it looks like inside. And there we go. And this is what it looks like from the inside. Personally, I really love the packaging. It's very elegant. It's very creative and playful, which I absolutely love. It's in this beautiful rose gold um, color everything like you've got the slight shimmery textures against the more mirror um, effect and then you've got the silvery um, ingrained um, outer line of the um, sketch. It's quite a nice one and then obviously the brand's name I think it says Terry Blee Paris. <laughs> so you've got by Terry's um, logo on four out of nine of the shades as well as by Terry's um, name and then we've got um, two seats uh, sat opposite each other. It's quite a romantic setting, we've got love hearts. Um, and we've got the Eiffel Tower. Um, this one is, I'm not sure if it's like a museum or a church, I can't quite see properly. Um, and then we've got this bench with the lamp. So quite a romantic setting. I think it's the perfect um, sort of palette size for you to take on a travel. I mentioned it's limited edition, there's nine shades as well. It's got a beautiful um, compact mirror, so very easy to kind of look into to check um, from time to time if you need to top up on your makeup and it fits perfectly on your palm. So moving on to the textures and the colours, I have previously swatched some on my forearm just to see the the different shades. They are a mix of satiny metallics and mattes which um, are very wearable on a day-to-day -day basis and I'll um, show you how I would use them as well. Um, they're very very blendable and easy to apply and very buildable. I love this copper shade 
think it's absolutely stunning. I've been looking for a colour like this for a while, especially for this season. But you can see that all of these are quite um, nude and natural and you can wear it in so many different ways. Um, it's been dubbed um, a nude harmony palette um, because you've got the soft pinks, the light golds. I think personally I would use them as almost like bridal colours or everyday um, colours or even just events. They're very, very wearable and certainly if you're the type who likes to have um, something that's quite versatile and can have multiple purposes, you can wear it in all occasions, then I think this is definitely the palette to go for. And if this is like your first time investing in a eyeshadow palette, then um, I, I believe this is a very good one to start off with. You've got so many different shades and you can wear single eyeshadows by itself or you can pair them up into a sort of smoky effect, which I'll show you in a moment. So I found that the texture in itself is um, quite creamy, um, which I really, really enjoy. I'm going to try and test them on my eyes afterwards um, and hopefully it would feel just the same. I have tried them on my hands and I find that um, the colour payoff is fantastic. It's very, very vibrant. Um, I'm not sure if you can see in just on the corner of um, the screen. So I can't actually twist it around when I filmed it earlier on. Um, you'll be able to see that the colour payoff is uh, just fantastic. Um, I was a little bit surprised how much pigment would come off um, after just a swipe. But I really enjoy the fact that there's a mix of cool and warm tones so you can pair it to your mood. I always believe that makeup is great for setting the mood and great for setting the style of the day. I would have liked it if they in included like a little mini brush um, that would be sort of um, easily put into the palette so I could like top it up as I go. At the same time, because these eyeshadows are so creamy, I think it's absolutely fine to just use my fingers to blend them in. Um, so it's not um, the end of the world. I have seen a lot of other palettes that do enclose the um, extra sort of mini miniature brushes um, that can work. It's okay. Um, in terms of the formula and ingredients of this particular eyeshadow, um, they do incorporate clean and vegan um, formulas. So let me just read out what I've researched. Um, they have used natural Mika for the satiny shades to ensure like a smooth and easily blendable effect. Um, there's also silica micro particles which creates that mattifying effect and um, you'll see it more in that sort of central shadow. It's actually quite matte. They've also included talc infused in the creamy metallic shades for easy blending. Some of these have pearlescent pigments as well for a high impact colour. That's what I mentioned earlier and I think you can definitely see it in the coppery shade. So in terms of scent, um, actually this is scentless um, which goes well with the whole vegan and clean formula um, effect. So I did mention that I will try these eyeshadows on for you guys. Um, they recommend on the website to use a large brush for the lighter shade and a smaller brush for the darker shade to create a smoky effect. So I'll give that a go right now. What I have in front of me unfortunately is not a By Terry brand um, brush but actually one of my Chanel dual ended brush and this will be what I'll use the tapered end for the sort of application part and then the fluffier end to blend in the lighter shades afterwards. So I'm going to be using this shade for the outer corner of my eye. I've got eyeliner on so forgive me this isn't going to be properly done. See, as you can see, the pigments are amazing. I'm just going to put this on the outer corner as well. I'm not really applying it that carefully, I just kind of want it below the socket line, slightly above the crease. Everyone has different eye shapes, so you can work it however way you like it. No, I like to have a little bit of a so a slight 
um, angled flick. So I'm going to then move in with, I'm going to use this one with the Eiffel Tower <laughs> and blend it in together since it's a lighter shade. Blend it together. I'm going to just take the liberty to apply a little bit underneath as well. So what I noticed that a little bit goes a long way, so don't go too crazy with the colours. I'm going to just intensify this. I'm just going to use small circular movements to blend them together. So there we go, there's a smoky eye effect with very little colours and very little effort. I literally just use two shades only, this one right here and the one slightly above, like a golden shade. And um, it's quite effortless, don't really need a lot to make this really pop. So I'm quite happy with how pigmented it is and it's also very shimmery as well, the metallics really pop. It's almost like a foil effect, so quite happy with this and I'm excited to use the rest of the palette to create some looks. If you guys want to see what kind of looks I create out of this then do keep an eye out on my Instagram page and I'll try and share some quick and easy tips on how to create a look. Obviously this is like quite a um, simple look to go for especially on top of what I already have on so it's not that in depth. Um, if there are any sort of looks that you also like then feel free to let me know in the comments section below and I'll share that with you guys. But my general impression of this is very good um, just like the reviews um, so far that I've read online I think it's definitely one of my um, sort of more highly pigmented shades. It doesn't seem to create that much dropout either underneath like I've literally just swept um, quite a bit of pigment because I didn't realise that it was so, so um, pigmented and there's no dropout, like it really just clings on to the skin which is fantastic. Colour wise I think it's wearable every day, I'm going to start wearing this for work as well but it's very very smooth and blendable just like the review says and um, as it is advertised online so if you guys get yourself one of these, then do let me know as well in the comment section below what you personally think of it. I'm very excited to try it out and uh, create more looks with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's short video and uh, learned a little bit about the brand by Terry. If you manage to get yourself um, one of these eyeshadow palettes, then do let me know in the comment section below on how you like to create your looks. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye now!